New tonight, health leaders call it an epidemic within the pandemic. Overdoses and addiction getting worse during the COVID-19 pandemic. Columbus Public Health wants people to know resources are available. NBC 4's Eric Halpern live tonight in Columbus. And Eric, there's one more day of a summer program that's actually aimed at making these resources easier to access. And Carrie, these walk in for recovery clinics have been happening for several weeks. Hundreds of people have gotten help over the past month or so as organizers say even more people need the help. For Joshua Phillips, it's an eight year battle he's still fighting. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. The 23 year old says he's been dealing with alcohol and substance abuse since his teenage years, mostly having issues with fentanyl. I had a lot of, a lot of stuff happen when I was younger. I, I would say not kind of, but it is the reason why I um, have been an active user in addiction. According to the Franklin County Coroner, overdose deaths in 2020 increased by 45.6%. Phillips says he's survived several overdoses, and one of his biggest challenges earlier on in the pandemic was isolation, in part caused by not having in-person meetings. I've been so lonely, I can't, I can't even describe how much like it's been getting to me. But last summer he walked into Columbus and Franklin County addiction plans walk in for recovery. Recovery clinics held during the summer out in communities with many medical services available. Our whole premise was to make sure that we were reaching people who didn't necessarily feel comfortable coming into agencies. Phillips first met public health administrator Andrea Boxill at one of last summer's clinics in the community meeting again at Tuesday's clinic at Lower Lights Health in Franklinton. Something in me told me to try it. You know, for once, don't deny it. Don't deny the help. Take the help that I'm, take the hand that I'm, I'm being lent, lent. And I did it and I felt so much better afterwards. And Phillips is one of more than 430 people the clinics have helped this summer. The last one is tomorrow at Lower Lights there in Franklinton, but these resources can be reached at any time during the year through Columbus Public Health. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.